record. And the record will be provided to you at the end of this um, meeting. So today is actually the official first class for your batch. And this batch will be very, very interesting as I will be taking a lot of time to, to teach you, to guide you, and to give you um, more information about Forex. So guys, our trainings is going to be in two segments. We are going to have the theory part of the thing and uh, we're gonna have the practical part of it all. Also, we are going to start from the very base, that is understanding what Forex trading is, understanding the trading platform, because I know many of you want to see how trading really works. And before you even understand the terminologies, it's good that I take you to uh, the app to show you how trading Forex does work. So we said last time that the foreign exchange market is a global market for currency trading. Currency, what is currency? The money used by a country. So the foreign exchange market is a global and decentralized market whereby people go and trade the currency of one country against that of another nation. In the foreign exchange market, we buy and we sell money. I can use money to buy money. I can sell money to get money. So in the foreign exchange market, we give up something to get something. So we give up a foreign currency to own another foreign currency. I took the case of you traveling from Cameroon to Nigeria. And at the Cameroon-Nigeria borders, you may have to convert your safer to Naira. Automatically, you have done foreign exchange. If you are in the US and out of Cameroon, and you wish to send money to your relative back home, you will send a foreign currency, but they will receive in return safer. In that regard, forex trading has taken place. But the type of foreign exchange that me and you will be doing will be the online forex trading, whereby we'll be using an app in our phone to be able to execute trade in that forex market. The forex market is open five days a week. That is from Monday to Tuesday. And the foreign exchange market has three major economic sessions. When we talk about economic sessions, we talk about different regions of the world whereby they are up and trading currency around the economic region is profitable and much more profitable. For example, we have the European sessions where we trade currency from Europe. We have the US session where we trade currency from US and Canada. We have the Asian session where we trade currency from the Asia from the, from the Asian world, like Japanese and Australian dollars. So we have three major economic sessions in the world. That leads us to have three major forex trading session starting with the london session that starts in cameroon from 8 a.m to 5 p.m during this time currency from europe is much more favorable to trade and in cameroon from 1 p.m to 10 p.m is a london session as well from 1 a.m to 7 a.m 
is an Asian session. So we are experiencing the Asian session at the moment. It doesn't mean that you cannot trade any other currency or you cannot exchange any other currency out of those sessions. But it is much more favorable to exchange or to trade a currency during its own session. We are going to go as far as to learn about currency pairs and the economic region that currency is coming from. So you will know exactly when to trade for more profit. The foreign exchange market has its participants. The participants are banks, financial institutions, and individual traders who are called retail traders. Retail traders are people like you and I that decides to get involved in forex trading. So banks and financial institutions are the major market mover in the foreign exchange industry. This industry is made up of over $5 trillion being traded on daily basis. $5 trillion. And this is where the exchange rate of all currency are being determined. For example, we can determine the exchange rate of US dollars against the CFA. And we find ourselves that the dollar safer exchange rate at the moment could be determined easily from this market just by looking at this graph. So $1 is equivalent to 644 francs CFA at the moment. As Forex traders, we are going to be using analytics, data from the exchange market, the record of past price fluctuation to be able to predict the future. We are also going to be using fundamental analytics as well to aid us in Okay. Um, I was saying that we're also going to be using fundamental analysis to be able to analyze the foreign exchange market. And so you can take forex trading as a full-time job. You can take forex trading as a business and bet me, you can really become an independent trader or a full-time trader. You can become self-employed just by understanding how this exchange market works. You have approximately three months to take this course. And within these three months, you're gonna learn everything you need to know about Forex trading. And believe me, you just have to follow the classes from the beginning to the end. So today, I'll be starting with the first part, which is uh, taking you to the trading platform, which is called MetaTrader 4. I will show you how the foreign exchange market trade goes. I will teach you how this platform works. And from today, I believe that you will know how to trade, execute, buy and sell different currencies on the MetaTrader 4. By knowing how to buy and sell different currencies doesn't mean that you have profitable strategies to buy and sell them. So I'll teach you how you can utilize the platform but along the line, you will now learn profitable strategies on how you can put or you can implement to make profit in those trades. So guys, I'll be taking you straight to my smartphone right here. And uh, I believe that each and every one of you is able to see my screen, my phone on the screen. Can you see my phone on the screen, please? Can you see an Android phone on the screen? If you can see an Android phone on the screen, type one on the comment section. Okay, good. Thank you. So guys, I will take you first to, to Play Store.
So on Play Store, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you to MetaTrader 4 and I will just type here MT4. You can type MT4 and you download the app. I have the app already. So for you, when you download the app for the first time, you are going to be given access to a demo account. A demo account is, is just an account where you can use to, a demo account is just an account where you can use to, to, to learn how to trade though. It's not real money. So since I have this account already, I'll just go and open this app here and I will show you everything, how it works. Now, let's start. When you come to this app for the first time, you are going to see the quote. This is how it will open. And you have access to the quote list. This is called the quote list quote at different currency pairs together. So on this quote list, for example, you have Australian dollars, Canadian dollars, Australian dollars, CS CHF, Australian dollars, Japanese yen, Australian dollars, New Zealand dollars, Australian dollars, US dollars, and many other currency pairs as well. So we have about 28 of these currency pairs and they are called quotes. A quote is made of two currencies. The first currency on the quote is called the base, and the second one is called the quote. So the base is the first currency. So for this currency pair, for example, here, AUD is the base currency. CAT will be the quote currency. Close to each currency pair, we have the ax and the bid price. The ax and the bid price is the price at which banks are willing to sell and are willing to buy as well. The difference between them, we form the spread. The spread is the cause of the trade. So for example, for this first one here, the difference between the first value and the second value we look at the big figure. Here we have 0 0.89 to the power 3.38, and we have 0 0.89 to the power 3.9. So the difference between the, that is just one. So the cost of the trade will be one, and it is measured in pip. So they will call it the spread is one pip. I'm going to come back here shortly, but just know that to calculate the difference between the ax and the bid price, you take the first figure and the second figure, you take the power and compare with the other one. So we have here 56 and 57, so the difference is one. Here we have 83 and 84, the difference is one. Here we have 15 and 16, so the difference is still one. So it fluctuates with time. The cost of the trade varies. So the spread is like, if I go to the bank, the bank can tell me, look, we are selling $1 at 550 francs, but we are buying $1 at 540 francs. The, buyer, the bank can never sell at the same rate they are buying. They will not make profit. So that difference between the price at which they are buying and selling is a spread, is the cost of the trade. You, you understand me? And the cost of the trade varies with time. In Forex, during the most active trading period, the cost of the trade is rather cheap. But if you are trading when the market session is closed, the cost of the trade is much more expensive. So the spread will be much more wider. So if you want to pay less in trading, just know that the cost of the trade is cheaper, much more cheaper from one o'clock in Cameroon. Around, from around 12 o'clock, one o'clock to around 5 p.m., the cost of the trade is very, very thin. And this is because we have a session that overlaps. We have the London session, 
that is overlapping with the US session. Remember, I said that the London session, where currency from Europe is being traded, starts from eight o'clock to five o'clock. And the US session starts from 1 p.m. to 10 p.m. So from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m., the London session and the US session have collided. So within this time, millions of traders around the world are executing trade and the cost of trading is relatively low. So for the first time when you are going to download an MT4 application, you may have just some few quotes or some few currency pair on this list. You may have to click on this plus sign up here to add more currency pairs on your quote list. And how can that be done? You, that can be done by clicking on the plus sign. And when you click on the plus sign, they are going to give you folders. Are you, do you want to add Forex quotes? Do you want to add quotes like metas or crypto? So you can just go to Forex quotes. If you want to trade something like gold and silver, they will be under metals. If you want to trade something like Bitcoin, it will be under cryptocurrency. So if I click on Forex, they are going to show you different quotes that have not been added on your quote list. So you can go through, check them, and then you click on them. Once you click on any of them, automatically you're going to get added to your quote list. And when you come back to your quote list, you are going to see it. So to add more quotes to this list, you click on this plus sign. And to delete a quote on this list, you click on this air pen to edit. So if I click on this pen, they will tell me which one do I want to remove. So I click on anyone here that I want to remove. They will tell me select. I select him, select him, and I delete from my quote list. So my quote list is just a list of currencies that I can be trading, a list of currencies that I will be trading. That's my quote list. So secondly, what we have here, the next icon is a ch chat icon. So if I click on the chat icon, the chat icon gives me a graph of the pair that I have clicked on. Probably like here we have GBPUSD. So this is a graph for GBPUSD. The plotting using candlesticks. And on this particular area, we have another board up here where we have a F sign and we have some dollar sign and a clock sign. Listen to me attentively. If you look at this graduation here like that, you realize that there are some blank spaces that there is no figure written there. So if you want to read those figures in this area that are marking red, you have to come and click on this plus up here like this. And when you click on that plus, a cross will appear on your screen. And if you move up or you move down, a black dot or a black patch will show you every figure where you move. So if you are done with that, maybe you want to take a value from there. After moving and you get the value, you go and click back on the plus sign. Now in Forex, there are some tools or softwares or programs that have been developed to help you uh, do some technical analysis. And these tools are called indicators. And on this platform, these indicators could be added on your chart. By clicking on the F on the function sign, if you click on F, that is function, you'll be able to add some of these indicators on your chart. For example, Bollinger Band, Envelopes, Ishimoku, Moving Average, ETC. So if I click, go back on that chart, I click on this F sign up here. That means I probably want to add an indicator. Let's say we add the indicator Bollinger Band. I will just have to click on it and I take done. And after clicking, taking on it and taking done, that will appear on my chart. So if I go back on my chart, I will see that this thing has been added on it. And this will help us to interpret. So the indicator could tell us information about the chart. The, 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 the moving average or the Bollinger Band has its own way to use to analyze the market, which we are going to look at the end of our course. Some sets of indicators that we could use to help us analyze the market. So by the F sign up there, is just to give you access to the indicator list. The other icon here, the dollar icon is a short code, is a short form to the quote list. So if I'm on the graph here, and I want to open a graph of another pair, let's say AD USD, I'll just click on that dollar sign there, select the pair, and the chart of that other currency will open up for me. 
to start utilizing, okay? Now, we also have a clock sign. These candles that you see on the chart, let me first of all remove this indicator to make it clear. These candlesticks that you see on the chart, black and white, they will close up and open up after a particular time interval. So let's say, for example, each candlestick here will open after one hour. So after even one hour, the fluctuation of price of this asset will be put in a candlestick. We could still select that we want it to close after every four hours, after every one day. So now, this now will depend. So the behavior of price for today can be compressed in a single day candle. That of the entire week can be compressed in a single week candle. That of the entire month could be compressed in a single monthly candle. And you may like now to dissociate or to break the daily candle down to probably 24 hours candles, like 24 or one hour candles. So this graph is on the one hour chart. You can see they put AUD USD H1. So it's one hour. So I can click on this time on this clock and select other time frame as well. So in this regard, I can just tell you that this candle of, was the candle of yesterday. So I can tell you generally that yesterday, the exchange rate of Australian dollars against the US dollars was in a rise just by having an, a global view of it based on the daily. And I can tell you that, look, on Tuesday, we had a sell delay. The exchange rate of, dollar, of Australian dollars and US dollars face a downward momentum. So the market was selling on this day. So we can easily summarize the information that we are seeing because I'm going to teach you how to read the candlesticks. I will teach you what the candlesticks are, but I'm just introducing it to you at the moment. So everything has to be done in an order. Okay. So, and here as well, if I've seen this chart probably and I want to place a trade, I'll have to click here on this plus sign, maybe to execute a trade. So there's a plus button here. So if I click on this plus button, the trade window will open, but we'll get there soon. Let's finish with the next icon. The next icon here after the chat window is a capital base icon like here. They'll tell you I have an equity of $100,000. That is a balance of $100,000. The equity of this and free margin of this. If I place a trade here, for example, When I place a trade, I'll, let's just, oh, okay. <clears throat> if I place a trade, you will now see that you have what they call the free margin here. The free margin is still the amount of capital that you still have left to be able to trade. Your balance is what you have at the beginning of the trade. Your equity is your balance minus or plus your profit. And your margin percentage tells you when as much you open trade, the margin percentage will be reducing. If the margin percentage reduces to a particular level, it means that you should not trade again. And the more you place trade, the more this margin percentage will be reducing. Let me take it all over. I'm in a trade right. If you realize very well, look at this figure. The balance is the initial amount of money I started today with. The equity is not the same as the balance. The equity here is 100,121.77. So, and the balance is 121, 100,121.78. So there is this one, 0 0.1, which has been subtracted to my balance and now shows my equity. So my equity will be my balance plus or minus the current trade results. So because I've placed a trade, my equity cannot be same like my balance. If I'm making profit in the trade, my equity will be greater than my balance. If I'm losing in the trade, my equity will be less than my balance. I hope that is clear. So I am not yet making any profit yet. 
So if I start making profit, you will see it. And also, <clears throat> that's what I wanted to show you from this end. If I close the trade for down, the trade will go under the next icon, would will be straight history. So that is history. It shows how much you have traded the possible profit. Now, before now we continue, I will now come back again towards the first page before I go again toward the last page. So up here, up here, there is a menu button in your MT4 application. So if you click on the menu button, you'll be able to see your account. So this is my own account. And this is my funded account. So I'm a funded trader. I trade for a firm. And here I have $100,000 in my disposal as a trading capital to trade Forex. And that's why I was telling you the other day that, okay, if you are able to learn this course, believe me, your life may not be the same again. You can be a, become a funded trader with good knowledge and you can make real catch from this industry. So I'm not a demo trader. I have five years experience in what I'm teaching you. And I know many of you after this will also become like me if you follow me from the beginning to the end. So here you will see your account, but if you click here, you will see a demo account for yours. But now it's mine is a real account. So that's just the menu button I wanted to show you. Now you can still see all these other things to them from the menu button, like the chat button, the trade button, the history button, just by clicking on the menu, we can see everything. So if I want to go to the quote list, I just take quotes, menu, I can go to chat, menu, I can go to where my capital is, menu, I can go to my history, that's all. Now, if I want to place a trade, I need to click on the pair at which I want to trade. So I can come to the quote list, I want to place a trade on a whole USD. So I'll click on a whole USD. Then I can say, open new trade, or I can decide to go to the chart. So if I want to go to open a trade automatically, I will take new order. And now listen to me attentively. <clears throat> In Forex trading, we have two set of orders. We have the instant execution and the pending orders. Instant execution means I want to trade now, now. I want to execute my trade. Now, now, that's instant execution. We have pending orders. Pending orders is in the case at which I want to, for example, to place a trade in the future. So let's start with instant execution. When you want to trade, normally you will see market execution. So you'll be trading at that moment T. Now here, this is a first box of interest to us. And this box here is called the lot size. The lot size is what will determine how much you are willing to offer or to lose per every distance that the market will cover. Let me go back to the chart. I can tell you that, okay, this is 0 0.0 and this is 0.1. Market move from 0 0.0 to 0.1 and has covered a particular distance, let's say 10 meters. Now, you can determine that for every one meter the market covers, you earn $1, $2, $3. You are the one to determine your risks and your reward. Me, I can decide that, okay, I'll earn $100. So me and you can enter the same trade. The trade moves same distance. I earn more than you based on what I offered in making per distance cover. And so the distance covered by price is called pips. The measurement of this distance covered by price is called pips. So pips is the smallest distance covered by price. Okay. So what will determine if I'm going to earn $1, $2, $3, 
would now depend on my lot size. So if I go back to that icon, the lot size start from 0 0.01. So if is that I want to earn one dollar, I'll know the equivalent lot size that is equals to one dollar. So before we continue, let's learn about lot size and their equivalent in dollars, so that we know that if we enter a trade, the trade goes against us five pips, we are to lose this. If it goes in our direction five pips, we are to make this just by knowing our lot size. So let's start with the lot size. Now, <clears throat> with a lot size, it's very, very easy to understand. In normal forex trading, a lot size of 0 0.01 is equivalent to 10 cents, not up to a dollar, 10 cents. A loss of 0 0.02 will be equivalent to 20 cents. Loss of 0 0.03, equivalent to 30 cents. And a loss of 0 0.08 will be equal to 80 cents, right? Loss of 0 0.9 or 0, sorry, 0 0.09 will equivalent to 90 cents. So from 90 cents, 100 cents is $1. So a lot size of 0 0.1 is 100 cents. So we'll just move to $1. It's equivalent to $1. Loss of 0 0.2 is $2. Loss of 0 0.3 is $3. Loss of 0 0.9 be equals to $9. So a lot size of of 1.0 is $10. Loss of 2.0 equals to $20. Loss of 8.0 will be equals to $80. For now, I know that each and every one of you have understood what the lot size is. So a loss of 0 0.01 means 10 cents. So for me to be able to make $1 in a trade where I'm trading with 10 cents, the trade needs to go 10 pips in my direction for me to make $1. So selecting your lot size will now need to do with your capital. The person that has a greater capital, the bigger the lot size. The person with a smaller capital, the smaller the lot size and the smaller the gain. So with time, you will now understand that to select the lot size for trade will depend on your account size, and that will have to do under risk management. So here on this platform, <laughs> right, we have another box here, another box here. The first box is the box for stop loss, and the second box is a box for take profit, TP. So I may want to trade dollars with safer. One dollar is equivalent to 644 francs now. So I want to buy the, the currency pair dollars against the safer. So if I buy it and one dollar goes up to 650, I've made profit. So I may say that, okay, if the market moved from 644 francs to 650, I should, the trade should close automatically, even if I'm not on, connected on the internet. So I'll have to set a take profit value, which will be in the second box take profit will be in the second box. And I can say, okay, if the exchange rate of dollar safer move from 644 francs to 642 francs, I will not be able to withstand the loss, maybe down to 640 or 630. So I can set a stop loss value at 642. So stop loss, you want to minimize your risks, take profit, you want to, you are satisfied with the profit and you are willing to take it. So this value will be determined on the chart. You can place a trade without take profit and stop loss. You can place your trade without it, but now, but automatically you need it. And this value can be getting on the chart, gotten from the chart. It's very simple. Let's say I go to this chart. I decide to buy this market here. I am at 
0 0.6952, 0 0.69582. So I can say my take profit is at 0 0.69960. So I'll come here and I'll put my take profit CP up here. And then my stop loss since I'm buying, I can put it down here at 0 0.69. 260. So, things that I, I have written down my take profit and my stop loss value, let's place a trade with those examples. So, I will go here on the trade placement icon and I'll click on this plus sign. The first thing I'll have to select my lot size. Things I'm teaching, and I don't want to put a big lot and I lose money in my account because it's real money. So, I'll start with by putting my stop loss here. So, my stop loss value is 0 0.69260. My take profit value is 0 0.69960. Now, after that, I cannot click on the buy or on the sell button. So I want to buy the market. So I'll just simply click on buy. And my order has been placed. So this is my trade being placed. So when you place a trade, with your stop loss and your take profit is good. And if I want to close the trade, I'll press my finger on the trade and I'll take what we call close order. So I'll close the order and I've closed the trade with small profit. So if you see, I've made small profit, just small. But now, there, if I can place a trade and close partial profit. Partial profit, that means if I place a trade with a lot size where I can divide a lot size into two. I can decide, okay, let me place a trade with 0 0.02. I buy. And I want to close this trade, I mean profit. I want to take part of my profit and allow the trade to run. I'll click on the trade again. I'll take close trade. But this time around, I will edit the lot size before closing 0 0.1. Then I close. Hope you see that. So I have just closed it. And part of the trade is still running with 0 0.01. So I've taught you how to close partial profit, how to close your trade, how to place your trade, what the lot size is, what a stop loss value is, what a take profit value is, and where to check the history of your trade for that day. So now that you know how to use the MT4 application, I'm going to give you an assignment. And the assignment I'm to give you is, okay, tomorrow, first of all, get acquainted to the MT4 application. Let me not put a lot of things on you, right? I will teach you again tomorrow how to create a brokerage account and how to link the brokerage account to your MetaTrader 4, and how to get the corresponding demo account for your trading. So that is what the MT4 trading application is. Download the app and try to manipulate it. I'll make available the video for you so that you can watch it over and over again if you have any worries. Thank you very much for being there to the end of the class. Uh, if you have any question, you can bring to your WhatsApp group for more clarification. Stay blessed. Have a wonderful day.